I think all of us have certain responsibilities in life. Mine is to help others. In 2001, the Sidney Kimmel Comprehensive Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins was created following Mr. Kimmel's $150 million gift. He was one of the greatest cancer philanthropists before he ever met us at Johns Hopkins. The goal with this gift, Mr. Kimmel said, is to make meaningful advances in our knowledge of cancer. And I think he really wants to give to make the world a better place. Every day, Johns Hopkins recognizes Mr. Kimmel's commitment to this goal. To me, I think that's incredibly uh, inspiring to think that somebody would use their resources in that way to help humanity. Seeing his name every day does inspire me to, to work as hard as I can to that goal. What Sydney has challenged us with is to, to try and do bigger things in developing new ways to treat cancer and to help people who suffer the disease and their family to really just do bigger things. I think Sydney Kimmel is now in that, in that um, arena of individuals who understand that their, their mission in life is to improve what they can't do themselves. I have to say, Sidney is an inspiration to any of us who work in the area of cancer research. He's an inspiration to anybody who's engaged in philanthropy. He really is, for all of us, kind of the gold standard that we aspire to be. When I think about innovation and Mr. Sidney Kimmel, those two, to my mind, go directly together. The work that Mr. Kimmel did as a businessman, the, the resources that he was able to gain through that work have directly translated into what we do at the Kimmel Cancer Center in improving patients' lives. I think about the, the the passionate belief that he has that a person can make a difference. He made a tremendous difference in his own life, you know, rising from humble beginnings in Philadelphia to become a major figure in the fashion and apparel business. What he's done with his philanthropy is challenge people who work on cancer to make the same kind of difference. Think boldly, be innovative, uh, I'll support you, and, and let's see what we can get done. I think Mr. Kimmel's expectation is that we really um, extend beyond the gift and really translate that gift into, into excellence. And one of the ways we do that is through our innovation. You know, as Kimmel nurses, our goal is to work with uh, our physician colleagues um, and, and take care of these patients and create the next standard of care. So we're not just caring for the patients who are immediately in front of us, we're caring for these patients that we haven't even, haven't even met yet. I think the reason that this cancer center bears Sidney Kimmel's name is that when he was looking for a large philanthropic investment to an institution in the cancer field, he was looking for excellence. And we are a great place committed to excellence. And I think now that it has his name, we have to achieve that excellence. We do work that is trying to transcend that and impact a patient's life every day. And Mr. Kimmel's had that vision throughout his life 
by the gifts he's given, not just to Johns Hopkins and this cancer center, but also to the other cancer centers and uh, individual researchers across the country. So discovery that is focused to improve the human condition is what we do and what I think Mr. Kimmel has asked us to do. To that end, nurses work every day, um, passionately work every day to advocate, to educate, to treat, to listen. Um, and to really support and facilitate the work of, of the researcher and actually facilitate the goals of the patients. We're looking for uh, quality as well as quantity of life in all the work that we do, uh, and the nurses play a pivotal role in that. And I think he really wants to give to make the world a better place, not just in cancer research, but in the arts. I mean, there's not a good cause that Sidney Kimmel hasn't given to. A huge appreciation for, not only what for what he's done for me personally, but also for what he's done for the field. He has cancer centers all around the country. He has the Sidney Kimmel Fellowship, and, and his name is you know almost synonymous with, with cancer research. And, and I think uh, th that takes a phenomenal individual to, to really kind of push a field you know, so far. He is the most generous donor to cancer research in the entire history of cancer research. But what's so amazing to me about Sidney is he never wants credit for anything he does. He's the most humble man I've ever met. You have a vision to improve the lives of human beings that you will never know and never see, and to lift them up, to provide comfort, and to provide hope um, is, is awe-inspiring and I've said that to you personally and I would love to say that publicly. Thank you for the gifts that you've given and that path forward for me to always look towards your shining light and the, the reflected glory you give to all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you Mr. Kimmel for this incredible gift and for your unyielding passion to create the future in cancer care. Sydney, on behalf of all of us here at the Sydney Kimmel Comprehensive Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins, I'd like to personally thank you for the faith you've had in us, the support you've provided us, and the inspiration you've given us. Thank you so much.